Okay, so we're going to start at the beginning of the painting and we're going to start at this edge of your page, okay? And what you want to do is create the petals of the sunflower first. So you're going to take your brush, you're going to go up into a point and then down into a leaf shape or a petal shape, okay? And you're going to do that the whole way around. Don't worry too much about um, accuracy at this point. Um, you just want to get the general outline of the petals first. So we're really only doing half of the sunflower head, okay? So if you can imagine off the edge of your paper, you would see the other half of the sunflower there. Okay, so that is your petals drawn first. And then you want to wash your brush and dry it off. Okay, next we're going to go in with the next colour and that is your brown and that's for the centre of your sunflower. So the centre of a sunflower is usually a round shape. Okay, so you want to create that in the middle part of your sunflower. Okay, and then you don't want to use too much paint, just use a little paint so that you're not completely soaking the paper because if you soak the paper then you're going to find that it won't dry for you okay and just want to create that circular brown shape and make sure it's nice and smooth in the middle as well so that again don't saturate it don't use loads and loads of paint just use a little bit, just to give that initial shape. Okay, and then wash your brush and dry it. Okay, take a little bit of your yellow paint, not too much on your brush, again, just a tiny little bit, and go over the brown. Um, not the whole way over it, but just to add a little bit of highlight on the brown with the yellow. Because um, you'll notice whenever you look at a sunflower that the brown bit isn't completely brown. There's wee highlights and different values of colour in it. So you want to just capture that by adding a little bit of the yellow in different areas. Maybe along the outside rim and a couple of wee strokes in the middle. But blend it in as well so that it's not... Um, sitting on top of the brown but that it's mixed in but also you don't want to lose the brown colour either. Once you've done that wash your brush and dry it off. Okay then you want to fill in the petals okay with more yellow. So we're just going to fill in the centre of the petals right down to the edge of the brown and you just want to fill them all in again honestly you don't need to load your brush with loads and loads of paint just a little bit of paint will do and um, you don't want to touch the brown edge because what that will do is make your yellow quite dirty um, so try not to touch the edge of the brown center with the yellow at this point you will be adding a little bit of brown to the petals in a minute or two but first of all you just want to fill in all the petals once you've done that you know what to do next wash your brush and dry it off 
Right, now you've coloured in or you've painted all of the yellow petals, but as you can see, it just looks like one bit big petal with um, lots of points on it because there's no definition, there's no lines in between the petals. So that's what you want to put in now. So to do that, you take the smallest amount of brown onto your brush. You don't want a lot of brown because it'll just make everything mucky and muddy. You don't want that. So the smallest amount of brown, and then you just want to go around the edges of your petals, just nice and gently. Again, not too much paint because you don't want to um, make every make all the petals brown. You just want to add a little bit of shading. So this is kind of giving definition to each petal of the sunflower, okay? But without um, making it look dirty or mucky. So just the smallest amount, um, just to give you that definition. And you might want to, if you think there's too much brown on it, then you might want to just blend it in by using a little bit of water, cleaning your brush and just using your clean brush to make the brown paint that wee bit lighter. Okay, and you can even at this point use your the paint that you've put on if you put too much on and just rub over the top of it don't put any more paint on your brush and go in to the other petal to make it stand out as well okay but definitely don't use too much brown at this point because you don't want it to turn into a mucky mire. Finish that and wash your brush. Okay, at this point you can also add some uh, brown, just we slithers of brown into the middle, just to create that um, shading in the middle of the petal as well. Again, not too much paint. This is the danger that at this point that you would put on too much and then it would look more brown than yellow and you don't want to do that. You want to keep the nice colourful bright yellow of the sunflower but the um, brown just adds that little bit of depth to it. Okay and makes it look 3D rather than 2D. Okay, so you've added all the low lights, those brown areas on your um, sunflower. So now you want to add some highlights, which you're gonna use the white for. And a wee bit like the brown, don't load your brush just a little bit. And then you go in to your petals again and just put little areas of white in just to show highlights on the petal. Uh, you can blend them in uh, like you did with the brown, um, but go right round the middle of the, the petal, just creating little arches. If you can see what I'm doing there, where you create little arches on the petal, the same shape as the petal itself, but not covering all of the yellow, keeping most of the petal will be yellow. You'll see some low lights of brown and you'll see some highlights of white. And then you want to add some of that into the middle of your brown middle section as well, just to brighten the whole thing up. So if you do that and wash, and then finally, what you want to do is add your colour around the outside of your painting. So to do this, I would suggest that you take your time because you don't want to go over your petals 
of your sunflower. Um, but you want the paint to go as close to the edge of your sunflower as possible. Okay, so just really take your time and follow the line of the petals that you have done. But you want to colour in uh, or you want to paint the background now of your sunflower to make your sunflower stand out. Okay, so give that a go. And that should be you finished. Well done.